Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> okay, so this is Leanne Ganson and her yes. idol Philippines. This is Leanne. Le ah, Leanne Ganson could be, yeah, you could, you could be correct. And her audition at the Adult Philippines 2019. A lot of, uh, of, of requests requested watch this specifically because apparently there's a lot of interesting situation uh, things happening in the auditioning process. So let's have a little look. I coming in this here. This one, Regine and Vice and yes, James and Moira's in the panel too. Okay, so. let's give it a watch. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Hello. What's your name? So Paul is Leanne. for politeness. Leanne? Leanne. Oh, Leanne, See? you are correct. I mean, holy shit. Oh, what happened, guys? What's going on here? <laughs> Do I have something in my teeth? <laughs> I love this. Not gonna lie. Be like, hey, man. Hey, hey, hold on a second. I mean, they stop this shit. What? You got something in your mind, your teeth. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll try. And, I'll try and save Vice. I'll be like, say, but Vice, yeah, mate. You want a mirror? <laughs> yeah, come <laughs> on. Yeah. Mhm. 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 Okay, nice. Ako'y nakatulala sa karagatan ang... Okay, go on, go on, go on. No, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, you know, we saw good progression. Okay. Okay. I like... Very cool. I mean, you obviously see the bit of similarities between this style of music and now the style of music that has, um, you know, sort of prevailed in 2019, 20. You know, people like Moira, yes. uh, people like um, Ben and Ben, people like um, uh, who else was over, you know, even now, like you, you get Arthur. You get Adi, yes. you know, Paraluma, you know, mm -hmm. so it's like you get this sort of style of music. Uh, yes. But what are your thoughts? Why are you so sort of like um, critical? Okay, so uh, I think there, I have a little pet peeve when it comes to going into an uh, auditions with a... With an original? No, 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 not with an original, but like there's, there's an obvious uh, influence here. Yeah. It's like it, oh, it's very tangible, right? And I have a little bit of a pet peeve with when it comes to auditioning, oh, really? especially yeah, because I know that you want to appeal to the uh, to the uh, to the judges yeah. that the whole the whole idea of auditioning is that you create some sort of like uh, report. report really quickly, right? Uh, but there is a there is a really fine line between. But creating a, a relationship with the board as you are also trying to show what you're capable of doing. Could you argue though, like, for, you look at James Arthur, for example. Yes. You know, on his first audition, he yes. auditioned with a, whatever the, the... Cheryl Cole song. Song. Yes. But he made it better. But he... <laughs> he actually made it better. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> there's, there's a, there's, that song was garbage. And it's not, it's not about making it better, but it's, it, he brought himself to the table. In this particular this case, her. I'm not seeing originality. I'm oh, seeing... Oh, shit, okay. No, oh, no but I, this is just my no, no, particular... No, I mean, oh, shit! No, no. <laughs> this is fine. It's no, interesting. No, but because what... I think it's just so obvious. I'm trying to like... I'm, I'm trying to make them like me. And it's yeah. not you who you're trying to put out there. Hey, this is interesting. I mean, your opinion doesn't have to be end all and be all for everyone, but it's, it is your opinion. Oh. It's very intriguing. Go on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, Chibretta! Nice! See, that's a really nice detail, bringing your own score music for the pianist to also give you a hand in this type of situation. She came prepared! She's bro. very clever, she's very clever. Uh, 
this is great stuff right from like right no i'm not trying to listen it's good the approach that she's taking but i don't see any originality i stand yeah, by my no, statement that's fine you know i'm just saying <laughs> you just look at me funny i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying hot seat she's doing fine mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think she's a good singer mm -hmm. she's came prepared all mm -hmm. of that shit in my books yes matters. yes yes yeah it so matters. far so good in my mm -hmm. eyes I think she's definitely getting through I wonder what her lyrics are like that. I like her voice, I like her voice a lot I even like the rhythmicality of the lyricism wise It's pretty good Yes, there are some obvious influences Very, very obvious But you know what else it reminds me of? A bit of Sara Geronimo. Not Ben and Ben, but um, what was that band? The Bang Dang Lapis? Oh, yes. Or no, maybe it's not Bang Dang Lapis. This band. This band. <laughs> yes. That guy is really good. I love that No, guy. it's a girl. <laughs> no, 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 no. The girl that sings What's in the... this band. Yeah, she has like an alternative edge. Yes. Yeah, I know she She's is. so good. Um, I forget her name though. I mean, I forget names of everyone. Uh, who am I? Um... <laughs> I mean it in the sense of what was that? What was that Bandang band? Lapis, yeah. That you really collaborated liked. with Moira. It was that guy. December Avenue. December, December Avenue. Avenue. Yes. I like that guy yes, a lot, yes, but yes. that band gives me this vibe. Yes, yeah. I see. I see what you mean. Yeah. There's love. Here's my question though, right? It's good. If there's an obvious um, genre for this mm -hmm. and, a, and a market for this in the Philippines, mm -hmm. right? Even though one of the judges might have, the, this is a question to you, one mm -hmm. of the judges may have this influence. Yes. What's wrong with uh, stepping into that genre? Uh, because, the, because especially that panel is made with like the hottest artists in the, in the Philippines at the moment. Yes. Right? Even though Vice... I think Vice is like the hottest entertainer. That's right. Right? Um, mm -hmm. But like James, like the hottest, I guess, funk, R&B, uh, well, not R&B, but like pop artist. There, you, you He's have a very hot uh, personality. Actor, personality, yeah, right? You have yeah. Moira, who is obviously leading this pinnacle of folk and the... Mm -hmm. uh, Singer-songwriter singer -songwriter approach to music, yeah. To music. You obviously have Regine, which is the pinnacle of Philippines power vocals representation. Mm -hmm. So he's like... What if someone was to do a power vocal audition? Does that automatically mean that they're trying to um, uh, resonate with Regine? Absolutely. But isn't isn't that just more of a tell on the industry? Yes. Why wouldn't you want to be a power vocalist? Because e regardless of Regine's presence there or not, because okay. it's the most popular thing on on the market. Let Let me just let me just be a a bit more precise in my in my opinions about this. It's not that you don't. Don't do what's happening. Actually, do what's trending. Right. But bring yourself to the table. Bring something different to it. She and I, is, though. I don't... I really? don't... There's no much to build I see, I see. upon this. Like, this is probably it. Okay. This is what I'm saying. And I don't... And I'm not saying Leanne, per se, in her composition. I'm saying to this genre. Yeah. There's a cap to every genre, to everything that they do. And... If you come to to audition, you have to bring something above that limit, something right. that is different, something that provides entertainment, something that provides a wow factor, something that is uh, calls the attention right off the bat. This is actually quite a long auditioning space. They they're quite a uh, generous with the auditioning space. So how much can you pack on to this two minutes that you're given, or a minute and a half? Because at the end of the day, is the first impression that you're making. Mm. That first impression has to stick. Uh, and creating something that is too close or way too uh, regular to what the genre is standard could be is not a strong of it's not of a strong first impression. It's okay. it's not good enough. It is good. 
and she is fantastic and on her own she will be making fantastic music by herself that's no question about that right. or her talent or her capability to make music actually she's very put, well put together and you can see that there's a finished product here but for an audition you need to bring something else and that's why i don't think this is there's anything original to this i mean how many auditions have they seen that sounds pretty much the same up to this point oh let's keep we it don't watch. know right Trust and i, let's and I would let's bet that there's a lot let's keep it in our watch let's see what they say as well <laughs> 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 I know what that word means. Nice. I always think it's plus points if you're a songwriter and you sing your own song. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I didn't say, I wasn't taking it. I I wasn't taking credit away from her. No, but I'm just saying if, if you're a songwriter. Yes, you're above it. Yes, of course. You, no, you're above everyone else. Yes, of course. So if, it doesn't matter that they might have seen this style twice or five times or a hundred times. It does matter because that might be the the reason why they won't make her through. They won't put her through. Absolutely, Efra. Let's you give know, it a watch. Go on. Go on. The auditioning game is so different to just being good. Yeah, sure. It is so different. It, it, and it doesn't actually determine the, the, the kind of talent this artist have. She is very good and she is very complete as an artist mm -hmm. but will she get through that's my question i don't know but what's what's more obvious to me is if she does make it through who cares what the judges think after that because oh, it's, well, it's all the audience yeah so the, after that is just all down to the audience yeah so i guess her performance just has to be good enough to make it through okay but that that's basically the 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 point Right. Fair enough. Be good enough, bring something original and impactful enough so that the audience, I'll remember this girl, right? But the, the judges might mm. not, but who cares? Because yeah. after that, it doesn't matter. Fair enough, that's can, the game. Or can the judges kick you off? I don't know, I don't know the rules of the game. I don't actually know, I don't know. I don't think but so. But if he's really shit, mate, fuck off. <laughs> you know? Who knows? But, I don't think that's the... the but I after this, is that when the audience is hot. Yes, With correct. your songs, with your lyricism. It's true. No one can write like you. I wonder what she's up to now, though. Go on. But I don't know, she make it through. Your voice was great on that song. Mm -hmm. Nice. But I can also hear you singing other music as well. I can hear you singing different genres. Your that, voice is that's fair. quite versatile. Magaling ka. Magaling kang kumanta. Maganda ang tunog mo. Put it forward. Oh, performer, there's no some times. Magaling kang perform. Ang ganda. Yung panahon na to, yung relax lang. Tapos tanam namin mo lang yung, ano, yung sinasabi niya. You're very current. She's very she's what? Very, current. Very cu current. 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 Last time we just said what she said. You're very current. current. Yeah, current. current. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's the... It's, what's popping? It's um... Ooh. I like the song. I like how you performed it. I like... Oh, gosh! <laughs> the voice. But? Um... My problem is... You guys have the same sound. Thank you! There you go! Bra -bra 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 -bra. I agree! You're the same sound. What does that mean? Like, do you... Okay, continue. To me, <laughs> you all sound yeah. the same. I know that it's current, all right. but you sound the same. Exactly. And when you come to an audition, what is it that's going to make you stand out? You know, I mean, whew, this is heartbreaking to experience when you're in front of a panel, though, like when you're in front of like a, an auditioning, because I've been in, from both sides. I know exactly what it feels like to be taken apart in front of, of like people that you deem important and people that you've admired or modeled your whole style. Right. And then for them to be literally tearing bit by bit apart, exposing everything that you think it's already wrong about you. Uh, it's quite a tough take. Right. It's, it's quite a, uh, a, a really um, horrendous position to be in. But if she does make it through, you, you said it. It's all about the audience's opinion. Who cares about what anybody on the panel had to say? 
it's it's about how can I win now the whole nation's heart. Yeah, how can I sell? Exactly. Which, I, at the end of the day, I mean, imagine she doesn't get through and she does decide to pursue this in other manners. That is still the same question. Absolutely. How can I sell? Obviously, yes. it would be a lovely boost if she does get through and, the, mm. you know, her songs, her original yes. songs do. If she sticks to that, that, that's something great. I mean, it is really interesting. I've always had that conversation. It's like, okay, what, what do you do, right? Like, do you, do you resonate with people's hearts covering a song that... um. Everybody uh, knows Everybody already. knows, right? And that probably will increase the popularity of things. I mean, that's yes. why covers exist. But then if you're already in a platform, in a show that gets seen by millions of people mm-hmm. um, a week, um, do you not take that chance to, regardless of whether you win or not, try and create the best song you possibly can, try and write the best song you yes. possibly can with the most catchy chords, the most you that you could possibly create and mm-hmm. even if you don't get through people might remember that song then you can stream that song mm-hmm. and you're in the game that's right with your feet rolling that's right uh, rather than then learning how to create a song that people might like i totally agree um, that that's also quite an interesting point on her approach i mean with regine's bit it's like yeah sure i mean like i i, com- I completely understand mm-hmm. but what's the alternative Someone comes in there as a power vocalist. How often has that been made? Yeah, how tired That's, are they of that at this yeah, point? Yeah, is, isn't that, I mean, mm-hmm. predominantly basing it on what opinions of you guys and discussing with people in the industry, isn't isn't that what people kind of like, but at the same time don't think it can be done as well as the past? Mm-hmm. So it's like, why would you risk it with such a, a power vocalist, a power vocal approach? Uh, okay, fine. Will you try funk and jazz? It's like, well, everyone that's tried that maybe gets through and then they have to leave yes. the country because they don't feel like it's appreciated enough in that situation. Yeah. And uh, what do you do? Rap? It's like, is Regine going to appreciate rap? I don't know. I, maybe. I have no idea. Um, or, or, or Morda or Vice? Maybe. I, I have no idea. But it's like, isn't the same? Maybe I understand her point. It's like, you, you put your money in the safest bet. Mm-hmm. You went with what's really current you went with what you most likely would get you a yes. Unfortunately, today, we're overloaded with this shit. And maybe if she would have been the first audition that day, maybe yes. So it is quite an interesting audition because she is nowhere near bad. And she's actually very close to great. She's actually, I would say, that this style of music and what she has created, is just, this isn't the right environment for it. Like this is this isn't it. Oh, but we don't know that. No, but I I I do kind of oh, have mean a feeling. Oh, you mean the audition? This, ah, right, this right, isn't right. the uh, this isn't the platform for her. Personally, why? Because this is a very commercial show. Let's give it a watch. You know, this see is what a Moira says. I'm interested in Moira. And the thing is, I know that you're making the sound. It's not something that you're born with. You make the sound. It's the tone that you make. I was explaining to Moira, it comes naturally for other people, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. her, but for some, Ugh. it's not. We are- and I, I think, I agree, I think that's, that's the point where I was trying to make earlier, that it's, it's not, it, it, the, the clear influences uh, are, are, are a great tell of, of somebody's artistry and development and where they could be and how they could develop these things through. But that's, I saw it right from the beginning. She's trying to appeal very hard to the, to the right. panel. And I don't think that's the right approach because she is great enough to be herself, to produce something that's completely hers and not, not as something that I think they might like, but something that represents her and her natural vocal mannerisms and something that amplifies her natural uh, 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 inclinations. Yet again, this might be one of the beginnings of great songwriting, which at the beginning you never know what your sound is or who you appeal to or what your actual stamp is. And it's just due to years of development where you actually get to understand that. And this shows actually help a lot of singer-songwriters to find that sound. But uh, I still think this isn't the right environment for her. Yeah, honestly. I mean, fucking hell, if Regine says so, that's an opinion that's worth a bit. I think so. We have Moira, we have Yang. You see, Yang it's the same sound. Mm. Oh, like I said, tough to watch. Maganda naman yung 
pinakita mo. I'm just a little frustrated because it's the same sound. Yun lang. I understand yung pinagagalingan ni Mama Reg na yung generation natin ngayon ang daming ganito ang sound. <laughs> Um, I think that's what she said there. Mama, I think that's probably what Moira said there. It's like, I understand what the young, young generations attempting to do, mm-hmm. given mm-hmm. the fact of the currency of things. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Gusto kong i-defend din si Lian because for me, ang dami ko rin nasulat na kanta, yung mga kanta ko, pare-pareho yung tunog mm-hmm. until I brought it to the studio and na-arrange siya. You see, that's the thing. That's, that's it, the it, thing. It, oh, hold on. Just yes. just to presume we understood oh, the yeah. same thing because we're kind of guessing here. We're done now, guessing. You guys obviously know that we speak Spanish, right? Uh, and there are here. some similarities. Some. <laughs> enough that I can... Fishing words as we enough go. Enough that I can fish certain <laughs> stuff and now that I'm learning more songs in Tagalog, mm. I can kind of understand bits and bobs. But mm. So what I think she, she said is like, that's probably what everyone said that... What she probably said, what well, that's what everyone said to me at the beginning. That's right. Until and, I brought it to the studio and that shit kicked off. And I, but the thing is, like, I, I do defend her too. I agree with that whole yeah, idea. It was more just defending Leanna. Yeah, think. because it's true. It's true. There's nothing more courageous that takes more guts than putting your own uh, writing, your own production, your own thinking. Bring it in front of a panel that it's, you know remarkable for all their success in their careers and in the industry inside it um there's nothing more incredibly courageous than that and it's true sometimes these songs don't come to be up until they're remastered and finished and you know they're rearranged and whatever and it's a finished product thereafter i agree with that and I also, like I said, I also think that there's a lot of development, a lot of years and a lot of failed tries and a lot of uh, looking at yourself in the mirror and trying to figure out what is your sound. Uh, I don't know what my sound is. And I've been singing literally my whole life. And I think I, I understand that. Uh, but I also see what Regine's talking about. Like I saw it from the beginning. Like you're trying to be it what everything else has already been, something that's already been done. Uh, yeah, I, I see that. And but no, 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 I am not talking about the genre. It's the voice. It's the voice. I, I'm not talking about the song. You know it more than I do. I'm sorry. It's Wait, the... I'm cool. I'm cool. It's Aww. the... <laughs> Poor it's the that. This is hard. It's, it's the singing style. Mm-hmm. It's the I way see you that. curl your tongue when you sing. And then you make it airy, and it's all the same. But there was a time. Yeah, I, I agree. Is the is the is the reproduction of the singing style? Yes, I totally agree. Is that singer songwriter? Let's be a little bit edgy with rounding certain vowels. The the breathiness that comes with it. I I I totally see it. Couldn't you argue though that essentially all genres are, are just, just a, a remake? It's just a simple, not a remake, but an emulation. Mm-hmm. So in order to sing in any specific genre, you must obviously tweak technicalities in order to do so. Mm-hmm. I think perhaps what she's alluding to, maybe, yeah, I mean, and this is the the problem with TV, right? Like uh, there's the, a lot of time that they get given. Because I think probably what Regine is perhaps trying to put the point across is that what she's concerned about, the, new, the youth and the young generation is... is the lack of originality for the sake of virality. So yes, not pushing through that boundary, just pushing a little bit further than that. So in order to be liked, you're mm-hmm. willing to adapt yourself beyond to what you truly are. Now the question is, how does she know that? You it's don't. a presumption. Yes. You could. I mean, there's always the argument of age is no uh, is no guarantee of efficiency, and youth is no guarantee of innovation. That's, That's right. Popular That's line right. of James Bond. Um, but it's correct though but experience certainly does let you see more than what eyes can tell Um, and youth can sometimes bring contrasting ideas into what experience has proven works Mm -hmm. Um, with art is quite peculiar and this is this is why these shows are so interesting to me and the more we check them out the more my intrigue arises because 
it's not like sport. She didn't win or lose. Um, and, and even if she does lose here, it's not really a loss. It's just, you just, you didn't get accepted and the game keeps going. But it's not like you lost that final of a Grand Slam and then it's like, that might be a lifetime opportunity. And I other, other ones will come here, especially in arts and now with social media and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But it's it's very bizarre to me that to be, to be able to judge a a performance on a one minute and a half basis and yep. and portray it as that the technicalities that you have brought to the table and the adaptations that you have made they're not yours mm-hmm. how do you know that well i think repetition i think they this is not the first audition they're seeing with the same style they they're also have been I, I, sure I, so that means that stylistically speaking this is technically how you perform the genre it doesn't mean that stylistically no, speaking that everyone's you, trying to emulate the same person i think so I think you so. think everyone there was trying to emulate Moira? No, not emulate Moira per se. Not the same person, but the well, same the airiness, pinnacle. The yeah, curl of the, the, tongue. the same pinnacle st- uh, singers that literally lead the style. The long-facing style. Yes, absolutely. You know why? Because there is there is a dangerous boundary between emulating and creating you can take these influences and you can take them as yours and think that they belong to you but you know exactly where they're coming from and that predictability takes away the excitement of the performance um so let's give it a, let's see what they said because if they may if they got her through i no longer care <laughs> style, i'm gonna say yes oh you said- challenge kita Hanapin mo yung totoo mong singing style. I'm gonna say yes. But they're gonna condition oh, her to try different styles, right? Yeah. Oh, she's in though. She's in. Going to idols. Who cares? She's in. Yeah, I mean. But here's the question. Wait, wait, wait. It's okay. It's the same. But what happens if she rebels? What happens if she rebels and she just does the same shit again, but people love it? Then what the hell do they care? Right. That's my. That's if my point. If people still like it, so this is this is the fun part of this. The, yes. This, yes. Right. You. What do that you part. think? Because again, we're just two people in a couch, mm-hmm. and uh, and auditioning. It's a different breed of game. It's like, not really it's, music. It's not it's, really even about the music. Sometimes. It's not even about your composition. It's not about your talent. It's about social dynamics, first impressions, it's about how you deal with grumpy set of people that you have to get into a room with. You have to be Miss Sunshine the whole time. Adaptability. Listen, yeah, yeah. there are so many things at play in auditions that are so unfair to the auditionee. Uh, so, gosh, I think she held on to this criticism Good. so well. I'm going to make a oh. stand. I'm a fan and uh, i our doors are open for Leanne. If she, I'd love to have her on. Absolutely. And uh, I'd love to also check out some of her original work. What is she up to now? I'm Has she got fan. any more music? I would love to stream it. Yeah, uh, it'd be really cool to yeah. be able to speak about this because that what is what a tough experience. But bro. I'm sure it made allowed her to grow. And again, if she made it through, uh, who cares, right? Happy days. She did it. <laughs> now it's just a matter of winning the hearts of people in the Philippines, mm-hmm. and then from there, winning the hearts of people in Asia, and then from there, winning the hearts of people in Europe, and then the world. And, and we know, we know that this is a game of perseverance. We know yeah, that yeah. this is all about trying all over again, all the time, so... And it's funny, because people always say, oh, you're going to hear opinions, people saying yes or no, yes or no, or this is not good, this is not for you. And then you hear the stories. I just stuck to what I felt in my heart. That's right. And uh, it sometimes does play through, other times it doesn't, there's no guarantee. Um, so I just hope she sticks to what she thinks is correct for her because at the end right. of the day, that's what's going to allow her longevity. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts, guys, and goodbye. Ooh, goodbye.